Hi there, uh, one of my wonderful viewers asked me to do a video on how to make bush tea and I want to share with you today how I make bush tea and uh, this is how my dad makes it. He is 86 years old and very very strong and every single night he has a cup of bush tea before he goes to bed. So I want to share, you, share with you how I make it. Okay, so I rarely, rarely ever make bush tea with one ingredient. Uh, it's usually three or more ingredients. And uh, here I've laid them out on a plate and I'll share them with you, the ingredients I'm using today. This is dried soursop leaves, two leaves. And this is dried cerise. And here's a cerise fruit also dried. I'm going to throw that in. Um, this is a... Uh, caraway seeds about a tablespoon of it this is some mint the vine and the leaves that i brought from jamaica from my dad's backyard this is two pomegranate leaves dried we in jamaica we call it pomegranate here i hear them calling call it pomegranate those are the leaves this is moringa leaves from my yard i have uh, harvested and dried it Sometimes I pulverize the moringa leaves into a powder. That's my powder, moringa, but I'm not using that today. I have some ginger root that I have um, mashed. It's in my mortar. And I believe that's this, this is all I'm going to be using for the tea tonight. I commonly use this, this combination. Now, here's my favorite tea a pot I boil my tea in it and um, I have about a liter of water in this boiling I'm gonna turn it up the turn up the heat a little bit just a little bit okay you never want to boil um, bush tea on high heat by the way so as soon as I add these I'm gonna turn it down a little bit okay so I'm gonna put everything in the hot water my ginger, cerise, pomegranate, and um, sour salt leaves. Let's kind of pour everything in. And I'm just going to stir them in a little bit. Sometimes I use fennel seasons instead of caraway seeds. Caraway really is really good for helping uh, me to relax at night uh, so I can sleep. So it's soursop leaf, um, the pomegranate, uh, the ginger, all of this concoction that I like to, to, to make, this herbal tea, um, really helps me to relax at night so I can get a really good sleep. And it's filled with all kind of wonderful nutrients. Okay, so that's one of my favorite uh, bush tea stirring it up okay so it's bubbling so I'm gonna turn the stove down to low okay and I'm gonna cover it up and I'm going to simmer that for about 20 minutes then I'm gonna just leave it in the pot when it's cool later, I will uh, stick it in the refrigerator and each day I will uh, have about a six ounce cup of it before I go to bed. Now this is the finished product of my of the tea I'm making right now. This one. Okay, see how nice and colorful it is. Uh, packed full of nutrients. I warm this and I'll have a cup of it at night. And uh, sometimes I add a tad of raw organic um honey to it but most times i don't okay so that's one bush tea here's one i made last night this is just dandelion okay dandelion tea you see the color of it here it is in this mug that's a dandelion tea now this is dandelion that i've pulled up from my yard See, roots and leaves. I left everything intact, okay? 
and I'm going to use this to make dandelion tea. And this is what I have in here. I added mm, maybe three of those dandelion roots and bush together in about one liter of, of water. And I brought it to a boil, simmer it for 20 minutes, just like I'm doing with this one. And then I stick it in the refrigerator and I'll have about a six ounce cup of it at night also, or in the daytime. Um, I'll drink the dandelion because it doesn't make me drowsy or anything. It really does add, energize me. So that's a dandelion root and bush dried to make a tea. And these are the dandelion flowers. Okay. This, um, I don't boil. I boil like an eight ounce cup or six ounce cup of water, bring it to boil. Then um, pour the water in a mug and then put a, a, a half of a handful of the dandel dry dandelion flowers in the water, cover it and let it steep. Then I strain it and drink it for as a tea. Okay, these are, the dandelion is wild, it grows everywhere, but I don't harvest it from other people's property. I do from my yard because I don't use pesticides in my yard. So all the wild plants in my yard that are edible, I can eat them, like the three-leaf clover and, and the dandelion, to name a few, okay? And um, I have a property in Florida where I grow moringa and um, other tropical plants, and that's where I got my, my moringa and soursop leaves from. And I brought the... Uh, pomegranate leaves from Jamaica that's growing in my dad's yard but I'm sure that can be had online so that's my video on how I make bush tea um, you can make bush tea from almost any bush rosemary sage thyme garlic anything they're very good for us they're very healthy and it's a very good habit to incorporate a cup of bush tea uh, with your daily regimen, especially at night when you're ready to relax and chill before you go to bed. It's a very good routine. And uh, these are my finished products. They're delicious and, uh, and healthy, good for us, and uh, better than actually than buying tea bags in the supermarket. This is the real deal. Okay, hope that helps you and enjoy. God bless you.